At Oberstdorf, a mile or two from Germany's southernmost tip, champions of many lands take part in the climax of the European skiing season, Oberstdorf Ski Week. They're all striving to beat the world record jump of 456 feet, set up by Tony Luario in 1951. And 20,000 people are here to watch them try. Ski jumping at Oberstdorf has developed to the point where it's more like gliding than jumping. If you watch carefully, you can predict how a man's going to land by how he controls his skis. See what I mean? Now watch this chap, the same again. Lose your balance in the air and you're heading for trouble on the ground. Each competitor has three tries, but so far no one's within several yards of the record. Austria's Willi Egger, a recent winner at Partenkirchen, comes to grief in the worst crash of the day, losing his skis completely. He's knocked unconscious at once, and it's the hospital for him. Yes, it's a dangerous game, but these men have been skiing all their lives. They know the risks, and the contest goes on. This is the German star Rick Nagel, who carries off the prize with three brilliant jumps, averaging nearly six feet more than his nearest rival, Dasher of Switzerland. Rick Nagel's best is 444 feet, and that's an awful long way to jump and still be upright when you land. <laughs> 